today is uh, also a, a, an important day on Syria. We've had several, and there will be several more. Uh, first of all, we await the report of the Joint Investigative Mechanism on the use of chemical weapons in Khan Sheikhoun. The UK's own national assessment is very clearly uh, that the Syrian regime was responsible uh, for that use of chemical weapons. If the Jim uh, finds the same way, then that will uh, redouble our efforts to make sure that there is proper accountability for uh, everyone who uses uh, such heinous weapons in Syria, and it will redouble our efforts to make sure that the gym uh, can do work uh, for a further year. We also have a horrific humanitarian situation continuing in Syria, uh, including in particular in eastern Ghouta, uh, under siege and without humanitarian access. Uh, and both of those things, the use of chemical weapons and the humanitarian situation, uh, require a, a renewed emphasis on the political process. Only a political solution will end the crisis and uh, allow the people of Syria to get back uh, on their feet. Uh, and so we look forward to hearing from Stefan de Mistura how he can get that process uh, back into Geneva, into Resolution 2254, uh, and that will be an important moment coming up. Ambassador, what Iraq kind of accountability would you uh, like to see if the Jim Accord comes out with that determination? Um, who is responsible for Kamshik? Well, let's wait for the report. But if the report is clear that one party or another was responsible, then we need to make sure that everyone within that party who had a role to play in that heinous use of, of chemical weapons uh, should face justice. Ambassador, on the AOB uh, about Iraq, what is the UK's position? What do you think the Council should come out with? The UK's position is that we strongly support the territorial integrity and the sovereignty of Iraq. Uh, we don't uh, recognize uh, the referendum because it was unconstitutional. Uh, and it takes attention away from the absolutely crucial task, which is to finish the job against Daesh in Iraq. What about the conflict right now? Iraq, well, we That's appeal for calm. We urge everyone involved to get back on their focus on this top, top priority, which is uh, to defeat Daesh. Is there any discussion of an AOB on Cameroon? Are you aware of any discussion or request to the Secretary? Not aware of that. Okay. He was the one draft in Myanmar. Yes. Um, so the UK and France have uh, circulated a draft resolution on uh, Burma or Myanmar, as you, as you know, and we're working very constructively uh, with our council colleagues on that, and we hope that there will be uh, agreement in, in due course. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Good morning. Can I just uh, say a few words?